Hey guys and welcome back. In this video, we shall see the unboxing as well as setup of Tapo C500 camera. It is an outdoor camera which can be tilt or which also features the 360 degree motion tracking. So without any further ado, let's start with the unboxing part. After we are finished with the unboxing, we shall see how to set it up in the Tapo application and how we can set up the motion detection as well as the recording schedule. So we shall discuss all of the features one by one. And with this camera, we need a memory card to save the recordings that we are going to uh, do on this camera. So either you can use a memory card or you can use NVR to record and save the recordings of the tapo camera but anyways since i'm not going to use any nvr with the camera so i'm going to use a sandisk memory card so let's first check out the camera so this is the box and uh, you can see the some of the features which are available with this camera it's written here it's an outdoor camera with pan or tilt function and it can be connected with the wi-fi so you don't have to run ethernet cable along with the camera it can be used with wi-fi and as you can see it comes with 1080 pixel full high definition that is the full hd then it can be used for 360 degree motion tracking which means if there is some motion in front of the camera then it can be used to track that motion and also as you can see it has artificial intelligence person detection so this ai person detection feature of tapo camera works very well and I can say that with confidence because this is not my first camera. I have one more C310 camera installed at my place and it, it works very well. The AI person detection, the motion detection, area intrusion, as well as many other detections which are possible with this camera. And then you can see it comes with IP65 water and dust resistant. So you can install this camera outside your home. Then the micro SD card slot is there which can support up to 512 gb so 512 is a big number and uh, i have bought 256 gb for my this camera and you can see it works with hey google it works with amazon alexa and then tapo c500 is the model name then let's see what else we have here world's number one tp link is the world's number one wi-fi product provider for consecutive 11 years All right let's see what is on the side so you can find the specification of the camera here field of view is 360 degree horizontally then video definition is 1080p that is the full hd display then the audio is two-way which means it has built-in microphone and a speaker so which basically means if you have any guest standing outside your place or in front of the camera then you can use the camera to have a two-way communication with that person then it comes with night vision. Night vision is also very good with the Tapo cameras. Then the wireless protocol. So from here you can see it supports 2.4 gigahertz channel. Then the adapter input is there. And uh, the adapter is going to output 12 volt DC. That is 1 ampere. And it comes with IP65 weather resistant. Then inside the package we are going to get Tapo C500 camera. Then power adapter, installation guide, mounting bracket. Mounting screws, mounting template, anchors and screws, waterproof seal. And the Tapo application is available for both Android as well as iOS. And still if you are having problem searching for the application, then you can scan it from here and then the phone is going to directly take you to the Tapo application in the respective Play Store or the App Store. Then turning back side, we have this some more features so smart person detection and motion tracking now this smart ai identifies a person while tracking motion with high speed rotation notifying users as needed and uh, as i have explained earlier also this ai of tapo tp link camera works very well then here as you can see if we talk about the features it has 1080p full hd then it is flexible with storage options you can either buy one micro sd card or you can use Tapo Care Cloud Storage Service. Obviously, you will have to pay for this cloud storage service. So you can use either of these features to save the recordings of your camera. Then we have 360 degree visual, which means it provides a 360 degree horizontal and 130 degree vertical range. And then finally, let's turn over. And here you can see how we can fix it up. Either we can fix it on the wall or we can fix it on the roof. 
all right this is the upside so it comes with one year warranty this is the toll free number let's see the bottom of the box and here you can find the information regarding the manufacturer the importer as well as the mrp mrp is six triple nine that is in indian rupees so let's open up the box now Let's check them out one by one. General public license notice. So if I'm not wrong, this is the mounting template, which means you can use this template. Just keep it on the wall or on your uh, roof. And then using it, you can just directly drill into the holes. And then directly you can fix the camera on those holes using the screws. So this is the mounting template. Then after that, we have this quick start guide. Just give some information regarding the camera as well as the content of the box. So as you can see, we have a camera power adapter. Then we have camera bracket, mounting template, which we have seen right now. Then mounting anchors. We are going to insert these anchors into the holes that we are going to drill. Then on top of those anchors, we have to use these mounting screws. And then we have these bracket screws also. Bracket screws are going to be used to tighten the bracket with the camera then waterproof seal we need to use the waterproof seal with the cables we are going to see that later how we have to do that so the microphone is down here all right then the indication if it is solid red which means it's starting up nothing much to discuss about here and then we have to download the app then here we have the details or the instructions on how to hang the camera so using the mounting template we have to drill four screw holes and then mount camera bracket then we have to mount the bracket the camera bracket into those holes and then finally we have to install the camera into the bracket using two bracket screws and then we have to connect the power and then while connecting the power we have to use this waterproof seal so that we don't have to face any problem in case of any uh, rainfall over the camera this is the second option second option is when you want to mount the camera on a wall or on a pole anyways let's keep this aside power adapter that is one ampere this is the mounting bracket so this is the place where the holes are going to go inside then we have to use the mounting screw here and here after we install the camera here so that the camera can be kept into its place this is the waterproof seal then these are the mounting anchors and then we have the screws and here is our camera so it's little heavy i can say let's check if the weight is written here so according to the box the weight is 0.73 kg and the camera is off this is actually one of the feature of this camera for the privacy the camera shuts down the lens physically for providing privacy to the user or the owner as you can see the camera has been shut down the lens is closed so this is the place where we have to insert the memory card so you can see the reset button is also going to be inside this and then the second thing is memory card so both of them are going to go inside and to make the memory card port accessible we have to open up this small compartment so we have to take out the screws so i'll just do that quickly so i have taken out the screws and you can see now the memory card port is accessible and also we can see the reset button for the reset button you can use a pen or a small screwdriver to access the reset button and this is the memory card port i'm just going to insert the memory card now so this is the memory card that i have got 
its high endurance card which is specifically made for dash cams or home security cameras it comes with 256 gb of storage space and it supports 4k that is ultra hd here it is you can check out the mrp the mrp is 6600 even though you are going to get it for much less than that anyways let me just open it up and it's a good thing that it comes with a uh, adapter because if you want to access it in your computer you might need this adapter so i have the memory card now and let's insert it so i don't know if it's visible for you or not but the memory card has to be inserted in this way as you can see here so we have to insert it like this yes i can hear a click that means the memory card is inserted well now i just have to close this part i have closed up the compartment so i have screwed it up nicely now it's time to turn on our camera the length of the power cord is quite long actually i think it's near about uh, i think it's near about 3 meters so it's a good length i'm not so sure if it's going to help you or not but it's it's a good length so i'll just plug in my camera now and uh, let's see it start up yeah it's starting up you can see the red color here actually the camera is supposed to be like this and uh, it's working you can see i'm not actually doing anything it's rotating on its own so i guess it's booting up so you can see now the lens has opened up on its own so i'm just going to keep it here for now and then we have to open up the tapo application on our phone 